morning. Good morning, Gordon. Good morning, everyone. How the fuck are we all? How the fuck are we? Yes, <laughs> exactly, man. Thanks for joining me. Hey, before we get on, we better uh, we better play your little uh, advert, haven't we? Your, your jingleette. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, my system's running a bit slower. I'll find it for you. But anyway, introduce yourself to everyone, and I'll, and I'll go find it. Hi, everyone. My name's Gordon Frew from Fit As Fork. Uh, Kirk had asked me on this morning, off the back of a post yesterday, where I said, if you are drinking chocolate-flavoured shakes in the effort to uh, lose weight and get fitter, then you've got it all a bit twisted. In, yeah. in my view, anyway, chocolate-flavoured shakes. <laughs> um, I think it's really... It, this time of year, Kirk, it's silly season, the peak diet season. Yeah. Uh, you'll see lots of posts, your listeners will see lots of posts about limited space, um, that fake scarcity thing, you know. But let's not be kidded, there's no limited space. They're taking everyone. They're taking everyone. I'm only looking for eight people. No, you're not. You're looking for 80. Um, yeah. And we get that other one where they say, uh, comment below if you want in, as if you're um, in some way being selected for that sort of stuff. Um, and you get my favourite is when the people reply to these types of posts and, and say, um, I'll PM you. The original post, I'll say, I'll PM you. I'll PM you. Yeah. You see it all the way down every comment. You're yeah. Like, not not just if you want to be open and honest, have it in the have it in the post. Anyway, I, I've, what's the secret? But all adults tell us. I understand. Yeah. yeah I understand. I'm not thick. Yeah. Um, well, that's so, that's the trouble, isn't it? But people fall for it, don't they? Fall for the fall for the for the for the hype, and uh, I I just yeah, I don't get it. If if people were more honest, the trouble is when you're honest because everyone's dishonest. When you're honest, <laughs> people don't believe you. They think you're taking the piss. So uh, the ones, they actually they yeah. think you're the one fully. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, I know. It's like a bit like us. For, uh, message the station oh seven eight two eight five two two nine nine one. There's no catches. Not going to bombard. You just want you to text me. It's a way yeah. for you to connect with me. Oh. Yeah. So are the people. Can't be, can't, can't fucking be bothered. Yeah, uh, too lazy. <laughs> yeah, all the things are come. The LPM you brigade is is when you fall into that one, you're going to guarantee. Well, I, I like people to watch how this stuff works. It interests me. I have a bit of a sport with it when I see those types of posts. So, um, when it's the LPM you brigade, it's the shakes, it's the pills, it's the flat tummy coffee, it's sticking patches to your forehead, it's <laughs> oh, it's just all the nonsense. And I, I believe that. I understand why people fall for it, because it's a highly emotive subject. But um, I also believe that probably that's why aliens have not made contact with us yet. They well, see people doing this stuff and they go, what, what are they doing down there? Yeah, that is insane. Let's let's not bother with them goons. Let's go somewhere <laughs> else. <laughs> definitely, definitely. But, and and, and the, whole, the whole pills and shakes and magic potions is fine, but are you going to do that forever? Is that just is that just the way you're going to live your life uh, now, or what, what happens when you stop taking these pills and potions? I'll, I'll tell you what they, they end up tipping into some of the stuff that I do, or um, they blame themselves. They blame themselves and they beat themselves up for not being able to stick to something. And funny enough, they should be actually questioning why they're doing that sort of stuff in the first place instead yeah. of blaming themselves. Blame the diet, not blame, not blame yourselves. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Let's play your jingle because I found it now, as if by Good magic. Man. Very professional, eh, you know? Oh, definitely. Are you ready to get fit as fork? Want to lose weight and get fitter without counting calories, points, sins, or any of that shit? Shit, By yeah. concentrating on when you eat, you'll be amazed at the results. Get fit as fork from £20 per month. Get started via the Fittest Fork Facebook page. Let's forking go. And on that subject, I love the play on that forking. I love <laughs> that. Because I love swearing. Like, Stop swearing. Oh, fuck up. You know, you know what I mean? It's like... It, it's I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm in dad mode. I'm in dad mode. I can do dad mode, but um, yes. I think people are more trustworthy when they swear. Because it's real life, isn't it? Well, I, I mean... Uh, so you, must, you must be very trustworthy, Kirk. Well, I am, man. I am, man. But that's the trouble. People probably don't. I, I've I've come to the realization in my life that um, I've uh, lots of stuff gone. I could bore you to, with all sorts of stuff that's gone on in the past, and I tried to play the game the way everyone else wants you to play the game in the corporate world. Made me have a nervous break. Virtually have a nervous breakdown. Right. And I thought, I've tried it your way, I'm doing it my way. And even now, people go, you, you can't post that. Oh, you can't say that. 
there's going to be there's how many million people billion people are in the world billions it's eight, eight billion people out of those eight billion people there's going to be enough people that are going to get me and there's there's going to be a lot yeah, of people that don't like me and do you know what the ones that don't like me right. go and fo- right. fork off fork off <laughs> somewhere else and the ones that do like me come and join me because I, I mean I don't want a... I don't want millions of people to like me or get on with me you know what I mean we, you don't we're... need millions mate you don't need millions no. the same when I was starting out uh, the only people I upset was people with PT after their name and uh, nutritionalists they, yeah. they, they, they were the ones I used to upset they don't, I don't get it now I don't get it now it would be um, who made you the expert type things that I'd say I did yeah, I lost. I lost five stone. Now I help other people doing the same. Yeah, and you're people looking. You're looking good, man. You're looking good, and like you're glad you've done your hair and everything. Well, you put a cap, hat cap on, haven't you? So for, I've, got, I've got a messy bun for a under, bad hair day. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a messy bun. I just put the hair up. It's one on me. <laughs> yeah, I love me. I love me baseball caps. But yeah, I mean the name. Where, the, the net. I think the name is brilliant, mate. Fit as fork. And the, so, so my, my clients are forkers. That's what they get called. They're forkers, and we do a slot called Meet the Forker, which is the success stories and the. The stories you don't need to have lost eight stone to be a success story. If you're setting out to lose two stone, a stone, and you do it with me, then that's that's as good as someone losing eight stone. And um, I've got people from triathletes, Ironmen, ultra marathon runners to, to people over twenty stone. And what I do works across the board. And it's 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 and uh, the, the tagline is uh, that I am the food anarchist. Mm. And it's all about doing it your own way. Just what you mentioned there, doing it your own way, doing it differently. To put it simply, I get people to concentrate on when they eat and just relax about what they eat. Yeah. Concentrate on when, and, and it works beautifully, Kirk. It works beautifully. And the diet industry, and the, the key word, and, and there's a, a lot we're going to have a laugh and a bit of fun with it today, but, um, there's a lot of damage done, mate. There's a lot of damage done with the yeah. diet industry. The, the, the key word in the diet industry is again. People are doing Slimming World again. People are doing Weight Watchers again. Yeah. Or they're either doing something again or they're doing the latest fat. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. Do you know what I mean? The only, the only thing I would say is nobody does the cabbage shoot diet again. That's always a one-off gig. <laughs> well, with no. the window With the window open. Solo. Yeah, when flying you look, solo. When you, I, I did that cabbage soup diet and now I'm single. Uh, I've lost loads of weight because of the stress of losing my partner. That's what lost me the weight, yeah. And, but... <laughs> <laughs> but you're right, mate. Some someone's found some barrier on the amount of Kilimanjaro that we've never seen before, and it guaranteed to lose weight and get it and make it into oh, coffee oh, and mash it in and have it with everything. You're right, mate. It's, it's, at the end of the day, we, we we can what we can. I mean, in simple terms, the amount of crap you put in and the amount of times you move around sort of equal each other out, don't they? Do you know what I mean? It's, it's way simpler than people would have, or, or the diet industry want you to imagine. A lot of these um, diet companies, they're not actually a weight loss company, they're a food manufacturer. Yeah, and they want you, you know, to, once you come, they, you, yeah, you, like you said, they want you to, they want repeat customers. If if it worked, if if certain things worked, mm-hmm. then they'd have no business because you will not come back uh, again, would you? They want, they want you back, again is the key word. If, if, they, if it was a one-time hit, they would be just constantly looking for new people for fresh blood, but they don't because people come back again and again and again. If it worked, you wouldn't need to come back again and again and again. And it's back to that thing, the people that do things over and over and over, they beat themselves up. Why can't I do this? But they never question They never question what they're being asked to do. Yeah. People, ultimately, people want the result, Kirk. People want the result. Yeah. And that's, that's why... They, they play on that, you know. See, when, when you when you fall for the shakes, pills, and potions, and flat tummy coffee, and whatever the latest thing is, it's the equivalent of me sending you to the shop with twenty quid, and you coming back with magic beans. Yeah, you're coming back with magic beans, you know. So, I, I get why it happens, but it, um, I need to pick a lot of pieces up. One of my jobs is actually to get people to relax, to yeah. relax yeah. because of they've, they've they've been bombarded with so much stuff. Yeah, and and they've beat themselves up, and they've they've got themselves really really down. Um, and say it's a highly emotional subject, how you look, how you feel, and it's it's not always about how you look and feel to others. It's about how you look and feel to yourself. You're right. And, and fit, as, fit as fork is a complete accident, mate. An absolute accident. I turned forty. I looked in the mirror and I thought, well, that's only going one way. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it wasn't like I hadn't really kind of snuck up on me. You know, it wasn't like yeah. it wasn't me all the running that I was. I was the shape I was in. So, um, <laughs> yeah. I, I, and the problem I had is like I'm a grubber. I love my food. Yeah. So as soon as you tell me I'm not allowed this, I'm not allowed that. As soon as you tell me I need to count 
points, sins, macros, micros. I'm not interested, to be honest with you. So I had to find my way. So you're talking about God. you're doing your thing your way. I had to find my thing my way. And and what I did was I just concentrated on the number of times a day I ate. So I looked at the number of times people ate in the mid-70s. I'm 70, eh, 45, born in 1975. So the average number of times people ate per day back then was 2.7 times a day, yeah. i.e. three square meals. When I looked at it in 2016, it was 7.1. Yeah, because yeah, there's that. There's that it's, 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 stop, it's, stop it's, looking. It's, stop it's, looking. It's, <laughs> it's no more simple than that. It's not your thyroid. It's that. <laughs> right. What we're going to do, we're going to come right back. I'm going to play I'm going to play a track. And I know you like a bit of punk, uh, <laughs> hence why we did the punk, the advert's a bit punk. Yep. So I've got the Stranglers and Peaches. I'm going to play that for you. Uh, I might mute you. Uh, just in case you sing along, uh, but you'll have to unmute yourself again. Yeah. Good man. Good All right. Man. Let's let's play this. Back in a minute, people. <laughs> 